It was only Thursday this week that Bob Menendez shook hands with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, part of the New Jersey senator's role as chairman of the powerful Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Now he's under federal indictment for corruption, involving a relationship with three American businessmen and passing sensitive U.S. government information to Egypt. The indictment alleges that through that relationship, the senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence to protect and to enrich those businessmen and to benefit the government of Egypt. The indictment contains a photo of Menendez and his wife meeting with an Egyptian official at the official's home. Prosecutors allege Menendez shared non-public information about U.S. embassy staffing in Cairo and allege he secretly ghostwrote a letter from the Egyptian government asking fellow senators to release a hold on $300 million in military aid to Egypt. The indictment claims in return for this information and other favors relating to impeding the criminal prosecutions of two other associates, Menendez and his wife received a Mercedes-Benz and nearly half a million dollars stuffed in envelopes that prosecutors say bore the associates' fingerprints and DNA. The facts alleged here seem unlikely to be untrue. Like, I think they got their facts right, and that uh, means that Senators who are associated with supporting Egypt are going to like look like they might be on the take in a similar manner to what's been alleged against Senator Menendez. And so I think there's going to be a lot of people who want to have uh, greater distance from Egypt. Agents who searched Menendez's home also discovered bars of gold. These three kilograms together are worth approximately $150,000. And of course, here you can see just a fraction of the cash that was uncovered as part of the scheme. In a written statement released shortly after the indictment, Menendez denied the allegations, writing, For years, forces behind the scenes have repeatedly attempted to silence my voice and dig my political grave. Those behind the campaign simply cannot accept that a first-generation Latino American from humble beginnings could rise to be a U.S. senator and serve with honor and distinction. Even worse, they see me as an obstacle in the way of their broader political goals. The U.S. attorney overseeing the prosecution was appointed by President Biden and says politics wasn't a consideration in bringing the charges against Menendez. The son of Cuban immigrants, Menendez survived a 2017 corruption trial that ended in a hung jury. He's serving his third full term in the Senate and seeking re-election next year. But before that, he's due in court to face the charges against him on September 27th. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.